<sighs> yeah, it's quite um, it's quite a hop. Uh, quite a, well. I'll try again. Hi guys, I'm Dean, and welcome back to another edition of the Inebriologist. So this week uh, I'm going to be trying uh, a beer from the Dogs Window Brewery which is called Heel and it's a German Alt beer. Uh, Alt beer or Old beer, that's what it's translated to anyway. But uh, yeah, I've had this um, for a couple of weeks now, uh, sitting on my shelf and uh, I thought yeah, just it'd be nice to try a different, um, different variation, different style. I've been doing a lot of uh, Belgian beers and stuff lately so I thought it'd be nice to mix it up a little bit so yeah, so go for the for a German variety. Yeah, so this, uh, so this Alt beer is coming in at, uh, if I can see it, coming in at 4.6% ABV. So it's not a it's not a strong sort of beer, it's supposed to be quite sessionable. Um, so like the, the German uh, Alt beers or old beers, they're not really sort of strong. Well, they're kind of like mid, mid strength, should we say then, you know, something that's uh, a little bit more sessionable, but you know, so you can drink a few of them and not sort of feel feel the effects from it. But yeah, be interesting to, uh, to try this anyway. So uh, time to get into a glass. Hope it doesn't go everywhere. Ooh. Oh, quite a load. Yeah, so I've got a glass, uh, which is, it's an urban tap house glass, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's, uh, um, I'll have to check actually with the with the brewery uh, to see if they've got any uh, sort of some chalices or something like that to, to drink with because I've got a few other Dogs Window Brewery beers which I uh, wouldn't mind trying with the uh, with their glasses you know so so uh, here we go. Yeah, so it's uh, yeah got a sort of off white sort of coloured head or slightly tanned coloured head actually. Uh, initially from that pour. It is like a sort of dark sort of caramel sort of colour on it. Medium levels of carbonation. Yeah, it has a nice colour on it. It's quite a sort of nice honey copper caramel colour as I said, you know. It does also have a slight sort of haziness to it as well. Not much clarity on it anyway. The beer does get a little bit more murky as well. Uh, pouring the rest of that out of the glass, um, obviously, because it is bottle conditioned after all, so it's quite a cloudy beer now. But yeah, looks quite nice. Very interesting to see what, uh, what it smells like, anyway. So let's have a little bit of a smell. Yeah. So initially from this, it's um, it's quite a malty sort of smell to it, anyway. Yeah, but it's quite sort of malty, um, sort of biscuity smell to it, and also with like slightly burnt caramel or caramelized sort of smell to it. And uh, definitely smells sweet anyway, so um, I'm guessing it's going to be quite sweet. Not much for hop presence really. Um, yeah, there's this. I can smell a little bit of the hops, but there's not really much to call it as as a hoppy beer. But it might be different on the taste anyway. So uh, time to dive in and uh, have a bit of a try. Cheers. That's an interesting style. I quite like that. Initially from that is um, you do get that sort of sweetness and it is kind of like a, a very sort of biscuity type of taste with that sort of uh, caramel uh, toffee flavour that comes from the malts as well. But yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's quite a nice beer. It does leave that sort of bitter flavour as well. Uh, so as it goes down, um, you can taste it right at the back of the throat as, as the beer's gone, you know. Yeah, as I said, it's quite a murky sort of beer, but... Uh, that doesn't sort of take away from uh, the fact that you know it's a nice tasting beer anyway. I know some people are put off by some beers if they do look a little bit sort of murky and you can't really see much through it, you know. But it's a delicious beer. It's very nice. It does also have that sort of so sort of that creamy sort of um, flavour to it as well. So it is a full bodied, uh, full bodied beer. It does also have that sort of bready uh, quality to it, or like a yeasty sort of uh, flavour. Not too sort of dissimilar from, from Belgian beers, because Belgian beers do tend to have a very sort of yeasty, bready presence to it. Can't really taste any of the alcohol in there. Um, it's kind of masked really well with, with all the flavours going in there. It does taste like a, it's like a meal in a glass type thing, you know, and it's... Uh, so if I am sort of... Uh, have got a food deficiency in the house, then, uh, you know, I could always have a couple of these and it'll be okay. But seriously, yeah, you need to eat food before drinking these, or you'd be a bit sort of uh, lightheaded and probably fall over. 
Um, yeah, but it's uh, it's quite nice. So the score I'm going to give uh, this beer this week, being sort of like a, a beer which I, well, a beer style which I have not really sort of been familiar with before and beer which is something that I don't usually drink. Yes, yeah, so the score I'm going to give uh, this beer is um, 3.5 out of 5, which again, in my books, 3.5 out of 5 is a very good beer, you know, but it's uh, it's probably a beer which is not up there as my sort of favourite all-time beers anyway so you know again it's a completely subjective thing with with drinking beer you know somebody else might think that this is like one of the best beers they've ever had but yeah you know I'm not taking away from the the quality of the beer that this is anyway it's a very good quality beer this uh, you know I don't mind that at all it's very nice so thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to more beer videos and I'll see you very soon. Yeah.